Okay, it's two o'clock. We ask that you come in and please take a seat so that we can get started on time. Um, today's session is going to be divided in two parts. There's going to be a break uh, between 2.45 and 3 o'clock. If you need to run to the bathroom, we ask that you do that at that time if you can hold. Um, then just come back in promptly before 3 so that um, they can again get started on time. And we are very happy to have Dr. Therese Wilkham and Caitlin Fulton and they're going to be talking about making solutions in minutes for limited hand function. Um, please go ahead, take a seat. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Caitlin and I are excited to be back again. Uh, this is our second year now, and we're all about making stuff. Just make stuff, love people. There's going to be a hands-on kind of activity at the end. Um, I'm Therese Wilkin. I'm the director of New Hampshire's statewide assistive technology program at the University of New Hampshire. And my colleague, Caitlin Fulton, who um, also works with me at the center. And I forgot, thank you. So one of the challenges that we have is we only get 45 minutes. And 45 minutes plus inside that 45 minutes, you all will be making a device. So we're going to be going very quickly through a lot of these different ideas. And then we'll have a 15 minute break and part two will start at three o'clock and we'll continue on with more and we'll have a second make and take um, activity in the three o'clock session. So I'm going to turn this over to Caitlin, and she's going to get us started off with some of the new assistive technology devices that uh, we've been able to create for Caitlin. So I am doing this in order of my day. So wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Got my cup of coffee. Um, so I had a lot of trouble carrying this coffee mug. Teresa's going to show you what it looks like, if you can't tell from the picture. Um, it's got just a straight handle like a lot of coffee mugs. Um, but I can't hold on to that, just the way that my hand is positioned. So we use this uh, material called Instamorph to create a little hook up above. So Instamorph is these um, clear plastic beads that are, um, you put it in hot water, and then it's moldable. Um, once then it turns clear and you can shape it into whatever you want and then it hardens and it's um, non-toxic and yeah, it's cool stuff. So here's my coffee mug. And as you can see, you can hook your thumb into, um, the, uh, into the hook there. So if I don't want to hold it using the handle, I can just um, hold it using my thumb. And anybody can use it. It's useful for everybody, not just people with arthrogryposis. And that's a close-up of it. Yes. Uh, Instamorph. Instamorph. Amazon. Yes, Amazon. <laughs> and then I will be doing a little demo on Instamorph, showing you how incredibly easy, how do you work with this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, so second thing. You know, after I have my cup of coffee, I have to get dressed. So um, uh, any ladies in the room with arthrogryposis here? Yep, OK. So I need a hook to help me put on my bra. So this is something that we created. It's made out of corner guard, um, a command hook. I don't know if you guys know what command hooks are. You can buy them at Rite Aid, if you have Rite Aid down here. Um, so it's a command hook put on two overlapping pieces of corner guard with um, this grippy, grippy loop, which is um, rubber material attached to, oh, it's just rubber, corner guard. Yeah, OK, so it's just the grip stuff. Um, so. You can slide it onto a door. So like if I'm traveling, it's really hard for me to get dressed because you know, I use a dressing stick to put on my shirts and everything like that. But like for the bra part, it's harder to use those dressing sticks. So you can detach it to any size door, um, interior door, like a bathroom door. And um, it just kind of goes right on there. So here's a little video of me using it. Hopefully they don't know. That's not gonna increase the volume. Okay. Well, this is. 
This is me talking about it. That I already, like, I already have some certain ways of doing when I'm at home when I'm traveling. I either have to bring an extra long frozen stick or a smaller travel size stick that doesn't work as well to, um, for instance, help me put on my undergarments. So this is a travel solution that Therese came up with that um, that hooks onto a door, um, so I can take it wherever I want to go. And um, so I'm going to show you how that works. So. As long as you have the ability to pull it open a little bit, you can just kind of slide it on there and it's grippy enough. Like, and you can use your body. Push it onto the side of the door. And um, there it is, it's at the right height for me. Um, and I can look whatever I need to look, it's at the right angle. And that's it. So that's how it works for me. Um, I'm not sure if that would be helpful for other people. So this is how you make it. Do you want me to show this one, Therese? Oh, how to make it? Yeah. Yeah. OK. All right, so we're going to talk about how do you make this yeah. door dress. Yep, yep. And we're making a So I'm going to just kind of talk over it a little bit. So all of you have a piece of corner guard in your hand. And the piece of corner guard you find at Home Depot, and corner guard comes in um, five eighths inch comes in three quarter inch, one inch, and two inch. So this is two inch pieces of corner guard that you can get at Home Depot, and you can cut it with a pair of scissors. It's not acrylic, so it's it's fairly easy to cut, and um, it doesn't break. So that's really good because it's it's a polypropylene material, and what I did was I put some rubber material. So first. This is VHB tape, and you can get this at Home Depot. VHB stands for very high bond, and you peel and stick it on one piece of corner guard, so it's wicked strong, and then you overlap the second piece of corner guard. See how fast I am? <laughs> then I have this nice rubber material, because you want a rubbery material that is gonna grip to the door. So that's going on the inside. And then every doors are a little bit different. Um, you can get rubbery material at Home Depot. It's, um, you can put it on uh, stairs so it doesn't slide. You can put some of the rubber stuff in your bathroom. So it's peel and stick rubber. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of corrugated plastic. You're all holding some corrugated plastic now. And that corrugated plastic that you're holding happens to be election signs. But if you went to a sign shop, it would come in black or white. And so I have a piece of black. And look what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making a thicker piece, putting that rubber material. Now I'm peeling that VHB tape off and I'm gonna put that inside the corner guard on the inside that's taking up the slack, kind of like a shim. If you're any of you are carpenters, you'll understand shims. All right, and then I'm taking the command adhesive hook and I'm just attaching it to the back of it. A lot of you have used command adhesive hooks in the past. And I found these at Rite Aid. show how it attaches to the door which was actually the preview of the floor <laughs> there we go so um yeah the thing that you want to do if you decide to make one of these at home is um you want to glue the command hook to its backing you know how they slide on and off um if you're using it to help you get dressed or something like that um it might slide off so oh she's yeah she just that's the one that hasn't been glued <laughs> um and you can use um you can use more shims if the door's thinner with just, yeah, yeah, with just like a corrugated plastic again. Um, so this is, this is a cool thing that we found for me to um, zip up my jackets. I don't know if any of you have heard of MagZip, or how many of you have ever heard of Under Armour? So Under Armour has this cool thing called a MagZip um, that they invented that, um, well, I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is the MagZipper. And you can see when it slides together. See how the magnet pulls it? Okay. 
if we can get it to work. Okay, now it's in there. <laughs> so if you don't get it just right, yeah, now it's in there, and now, oh yeah. Then, to unzip. It's pretty easy to unzip. But to get it started, yeah, um, it has to be lined up like that. So this is me putting it on, um, and it takes a little bit. So it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's a lot easier for me to use than originally. I could never zip up my winter jackets prior to this. So um, this is something Under Armour did. We did not make this, but it's something that really became a, a game changer for me. So I thought we'd share this with you guys. Yes. You buy it for. Uh, no, um, y there is clothing that comes with the jackets originally, um, but I mean, the other way around. There are jackets that come with the zippers on them already. That was my own jacket that I've had for like five years. You can, you have a few different options. You can just buy the, um, you can just buy the zipper on its own and have somebody sew it in for you, but you have to know the exact length and the color that you want. Um, if you pay a little bit extra money, you can send in the jacket and they'll do it for you. So, mag zip, all one word, and it's made by Under Armour. All right, so that's enough of that. <laughs> um, so this is, if some of you were in our session last year, you might've seen this. Um, this is, so I, I can drive, but I get lost very, very easily. So I need to have my GPS. Um, I had, the only option that I had prior to this invention that you're seeing right here was carrying it or holding it in my lap, um, which is not safe because I'd be looking down. Uh, and it's also, I could drop my phone accidentally and that would be bad. So um, Therese came up with this idea of using corrugated plastic to make a, um, a is like, what do you call it, tension? Friction. Friction, friction mount, thank you. Thank you. So um, there's other pictures that I'll show you. And um, a piece of corner guard, two inch corner guard. And um, the stuff that, uh, what? The dual lock, dual lock, thank you. Um, dual lock, which is the stuff that holds your easy pass, if any of you have easy passes or other toll things that stick in your car. Um, so this year, Unfortunately, the corrugated plastic or the tape kind of, because I was using it all the time, the tape kind of came undone a little bit. So this is corner guard that's reinforcing the um, corrugated plastic to make sure that it, my phone stays in place. I mean, my phone was still staying in place, but I was a little nervous about it. And this is a video of me putting um, the right, phone so in. Mount, so Caitlin can slide her phone in and out. And it's made out of corrugated plastic and we reinforced it two pieces of corner guard overlapping. And then it is attached with a bigger piece of corner guard onto the attachment side of the control with dual lock. So um, that's that. It's attached to my shifter and also ignition box. Um, so it's very convenient for me. It's right there. Um, OK, so now I've gone to work. So you know how I was going through my, this is set up to go through my day. Um, so in Teresa's office, her light switch is in the corner behind some shelves and it's very hard for me to reach as you can see. So there's this other thing which again is not really our invention but it's called the SwitchMate. Um, and you download an app on your phone, you attach this to your light switch and um, you, hit the, you hit the button on the app and it will turn on the light for you. It's really convenient, especially if I have to go into that office. Um, and somebody who doesn't have the app can still use the, the light switch. Um, Normally, it's a push. It becomes a push button light switch. Um, so yeah, those are available at. Um, I'm not sure if it's home. Bed Bath and Beyond. Thank you. Um, those are available at Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, apparently, it was 34.99. The sticker's still on there. Um, another thing at work that I have to do is move things around, and this is uh, me pushing a cart. Um, and it's not very convenient for me to push the cart because I have to bend all the way over because I don't have the reach. Um, so. This is the thing that Therese came up with. Just a, a handle, okay, a handle um, made out of PVC pipe and elbows and it just slides right into the, it, uh, it's the electrical cords um, hook thing. Like there's one right here, you can't see it because it's covered with um, fabric, but you know, it wraps around. So that PVC pipe, that particular size fits right in there and it's removable. Um, Oh, I didn't actually show the video, but you, it, it's just me pushing a cart. Oh, if it will load. There we go. So. There's the part where it wraps around the cord. Yep. 
I'm still at work. I have to edit videos. Um, so this is an iPad mini in a um, iPad case that Therese invented. It's got foamy material, so it's on a stand. But I, I, this is just an idea for somebody to use. If you have an iPad mini or a Kindle or anything like that, putting your arm up and over, this will stabilize the iPad for you, um, the case. And I, I actually have easy reach with my thumb to get everywhere. So this is Jessica. So a lot of you probably know Jessica. She's one of the photographers here, videographers. Um, she, um, this is her mount that we saw last year, and it inspired Therese to come up with a newer mount that might be easier to put on. So this is uh, made out of uh, the fabric material. Is that? Yeah, this double face. Okay, double face loop. So you know, hook and loop fasteners. This is just um, the gray, gray material is double face loop. And then there's um, cor uh, corrugated plastic uh, holding the phone, which is my camera. Lock line is the bumpy material there. It's um, interlocking balls and sockets that you can position anywhere. And um, well, yeah, I'll show the video. I don't know if you can hear it. So corner guard comes in different colors. That happens to be black corner guard. All right, I'm going to make it go faster, but come on, maybe. So this is me taking it off, and I, I go down and wiggle it up. And then this is. So we go to Joanne Fabrics and pick up material called Veltex, fold it over and sew it. So okay. then the next video shows shows um more so that's how it's attached with velcro and such so in the books so we we put tools materials and then where to find all the materials okay and this is me putting on the belt it actually takes a little bit so i'm going to speed it up if I can, come on. So, um, what are you doing? Okay, just putting on the belt, and I'm speeding right. it up. And then I'm sliding in the. Um, oh, first I'm putting in the phone. That's right. So speed it up. Right. So it's a track system. So it just slides right in, and it's um, industrial strength Velcro, so it doesn't fall, which is cool. So um, list of materials is chapter 14 on, um, so like where do you get Instamorph, where do you get lock line? So this is uh, making uh, assistive technology solutions in minutes, yeah. And then also um, on 18andh.org uh, website, must have tools and materials, that also has a really great list too on where do you get Instamorph, where do you get lock line? So A-T-I-N-N-H.org. And you'll click on resources and you'll find the resource sheet for that as well. So continuing through my day, this is now the play section. So I have never been able to throw a ball, really. Um, so this is a ball launcher that is made out of acrylic, um, a PVC pipe with little end caps. Um, I can show cards. that later. Oh yeah, yeah. she's going to show it. Okay, never mind. But this is me launching a ball. We have it up here. We'll okay. show it in a little bit. There's and then show how you reload it? Yep, and I can actually load it, which is cool, too. Takes a second. But. So um, if I have, you know, 
uh, you can like sh shoot it at targets. Like we had the idea of using um, wrapping it in possibly some Velcro yeah. and having a Velcro target. So like they used to make them for um, Nerf, Nerf things. So I'm sure you could use those little Nerf balls and throw them at things. No, Nerf balls don't work with it because they're too light. They have to be heavier. Oh, apparently they yeah, have we, to be heavier. We tried all lighter balls, none of them worked. Oh, okay, uh, good to know. Ping pong balls are heavier. Teresa, can you come up a second? I got him. Okay. We're just going to quickly show that. So I was in Wyoming, and these are those slap koozies that you get to go around your beverage. I don't know if you've seen a slap koozie. You might have seen slap bracelets, right? Where you're, you go like, I guess like that. I don't know. And I was looking at it and found that this is rubber on the back. And I thought, wow, what happens when I bend this backwards? So then over here, what we have is just a piece of PVC pipe. Then overlapping corner guard again. As you can see, I'm obsessed with corner guard. <laughs> Then just putting that down here. And the other thing I'm obsessed with is quick grip clamps. You know, 101 things you can do with all these really cool quick grip clamps. And um, we can launch food, have food fights, because uh, that's a little heavier. Uh, Nerf balls didn't go very far. Um, and then this material on the back here is called um, Remo 2. So now I've got the pipe and see how I've got some give in here. So what happens is, is that when this comes back, see how this is gonna grip onto it. Then I'll put my little tray there so that, and who's gonna catch the ball? Are you gonna catch the ball? You're gonna try, all right. So we found some of the kids at this conference were like rotating, if you can get my left hand in here. So just rotating or, so, or some kids were just doing this. Oh, Where'd it go? <laughs> it went over your head. Ah. It launches and actually, off. we want the quick grip clamps to really be upside down so nobody cuts themselves on uh, the projection. Did you get the ball? Great. All right, we'll give you one more shot. You gonna catch it this time? You'll try. All right, here we go. Take a bow. <laughs> cool. Okay. That was fun. Okay, that was fun. Um, all right, this is a really long video, so I'm going to speed through it. Um, but as I say in the video, now I'm home, right? Um, I've, I've worked, I've played, now I'm back at home, I have to make dinner. Um, I have never been able to cook, at least cook on a stove top. I've always used microwaves or just gone out to eat, um, or ate at the dining hall at my university, because I worked at the dining hall, so that was nice. Um, free meals. Uh, but oh, something, ah, let's see if I can talk about this without, oh, come on. No, 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 no. Sorry, guys. As I'm saying, so this is, um, this is approximately the length that I would need. So this is my dressing stick in case you can, I don't know if you guys have seen these dressing sticks. Um, they're pretty convenient, but this is us measuring the length of, oh, so first, did we have a picture of the stove? So this is, this is the stove. And the problem with the stove is that um, it is, the dials are too far back and the oven controls are also too far back. So there are some stoves that have them in the front and that would be a lot more convenient, but my apartment doesn't have that. So we measured how far it would be. Um, we decided that the, the oven would be unsafe um, because the, it's too big and I can't reach in there. So instead, we went with, there is luckily a toaster oven in my apartment. Um, so that, so we determined that having a, um, a wide spatula can take the, oh. But was it wide enough? That one wasn't wide enough. That was just a sample one. Um, so, the problem with the spatula is that it will push things back. So let's see, is there, no, it's not there. So we use um, copper, which is an easily bendable material. It, it was reinforced, it's like three layers, I think, of copper. 
Yeah, tooling foil, 36 gauge tooling foil. Sure. <laughs> uh, and wrapped it around the wires of the tray. So that way it would stop the, the, when I slide the spatula in, it won't go all the way back. So there's a lot of talk about that. So there's a wider spatula that can take out a, it's empty, but a bread pan. Oh, come on. Show the video on this. Uh, so that's what we came up with, as I was just about to say, for for that. Um, so this is the oven, the solution for um, turning the dials on the stovetop. So it's made. Uh, da, da, da. This is me using it, and it will do a just close up as to what it was made out of. I think in a second, but it's Instamorph on PVC pipe, and it's got a larger hand. Oh, here we go. That's a full length picture of it. It's pretty long. It's like 30 inches long, but it's what I need. Um, so it's three pieces of PVC pipe and a T joint. Yes. And they're all glued together so it doesn't fall apart on me. Um, so uh, and Instamorph on the bottom that's shaped to the size uh, to the size of the the dials. So it's, do we have a close up of that? There we go. So it has the, um, it's shaped to go over the dial so I can push it because those dials you have to push in and then you twist. Um, and then it also has a notch in on the side so that I can only turn so far with it going the upward way and then I switch, which I switch notches so I can keep twisting it. So there's a, the mouth of it and there's that. And and that's just a close up of the, uh, of the handle thing on the, on the stove, on the stove. And that's, that's me using really it. Using it. That's how we so I can hold on to the handle and I can use my full body to push in and twist. It, either way, depending on what heating setting I need. And I have made pancakes that way. I, I still don't really cook that much, I just don't have time. But. <laughs> I have made pancakes. Um, and finally, what you guys are going to be making. So I love reading before bed, um, but it's inconvenient for me to hold it in my lap because I'm just staring down. Uh, so this is called a, an Eileen. Um, so the Eileen is very versatile, actually. You can use it for a lot of things. You can make it into a document holder. You can hold your iPads. You can hold your phones, et cetera, et cetera. The way that I read is I read on my side. Oh, Therese, this is. Um, I read on my side. What? It's done boiling? Yeah, yeah. okay. Sorry, it's steaming. Teresa? All right, so she reads on her side. We're going to be making one of those, but I want to do a quick demo on Instamorph. So I'm going to switch the camera over. Teresa is going to come behind me. So. Can I be on the so you're going to zoom in. And what we're doing is we're just pouring hot water over the top of these beads. So these are just Instamorph beads, little plastic thermo. And then you can see how the beads turn clear. You just pull them out. And they um, turn clear really in about nine seconds or less. Then I can push down on it fold it over, and now I've got this really nice plastic that I can shape. In five minutes, it cools down and then hardens, and so we make an awful lot out of Instamorph. So on Caitlin's stove, we use water as a mold release, or you can use chapstick as a mold release. You can just do a lot of really cool stuff with Instamorph. It's non-toxic, biodegradable. Let's say you make a mistake, you can throw it back in hot water. Let's say a year from now, you're like, oh, we made this, but we don't use it anymore. Can we make something else out of it? Yes, throw it back in hot water, reshape it, reposition it. It's a really fun, um, simple material to use. Yes. So we've put things in the dishwasher like spoons. We've adapted spoons for people. And um, the parents accidentally threw it in the dishwasher. 
dishwasher goes up to 180 or 200 degrees, and all of a sudden they're like, oh my gosh, the spoon turned clear. So you take it out, let it sit on the counter, it'll cool back down, turn white again, but just because you can doesn't mean you should, right? So the other thing is, because it's a thermoplast, at 160 degrees, it starts to soften. You shouldn't leave something made of thermoplast inside your car on a hot day, too. Yeah. All right, so Teresa is going to lead us through this next activity. And so you all have this particular board. And we're going to be making one of these. Uh, here, I'm going to do the master here. So you'll notice we've got a piece of corner guard here. So this is the final product. But you saw Caitlin with her Kindle, right? So you can put your cell phone in here, and it's got non-slip rubber material here. Zoom out. Is that out? Yep. Okay. That way it grips onto the table. The other thing you can do, so if you can pull way back out, is you can turn it into also a book holder. So you can have a book holder, you can put a document in there as well. You can make it shallower or you can make it steeper. So if you wanted to put a sheet of paper in there to be able to see that, that too, with just an extra piece of cardboard or corrugated plastic. So what I want you all to do is you can have this laid on your lap with the white tape sticking up. So I want everybody to remove the backing off of this double-sided tape piece. And you notice, to score it, all you do is take a utility knife and you drag it across. You don't cut all the way through the plastic. You just make a score line. So if you could just, yes, leave it out like that. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to fold this whole thing over going from left to right. So everybody has it folded over? Yep, fold it over so that the black is now up. Seems to be a shadow, yeah, let's I see. Know. There we go. Shape. I think the shadow is coming. Right there. <laughs> All right, everybody with me so far? Now, on the opposite end here, we're gonna put our little lip here. So we're going to peel the red backing off, and that's what's going to slide or attach. That's our lip. That's what's going to be able to catch the Kindle. So everybody, let's see, we're going to get that on an angle. Oops. Shoot, because usually... It's fine, just go back here. Yeah, that's what, see where you have the lip? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, there you go. There. And then you freeze it and then tap. There you go. So everybody has your lips on? It's getting the back part. All right. Next, I'm going to go, yep, yeah, because that'll be your lip, yep, and help each other out. If you figured it out, help the person next to you. So now, we're going to pull these two black pieces off. This is the hook part of the Velcro. Pull these two pieces off. Then, you want to remove the back off of this Velcro. And look what I'm doing. I'm opening this up on the inside and I'm putting it right in the middle. One on the left and one on the right. Or take yeah. a picture. Yeah. You're fine. Oh, I can just come and help you actually. Oh. I think the slips on on the walls. No, yours is fine. Yeah, you just bend it. Yep, yours is fine. Oh. 
Oh, oh this. There we go. Oh, I should have had you break along the score line. There you go. Sorry about that. Am I crazy? Oh, there. So you have to bend it backwards so it breaks along, and you're going to break along all these score lines. Sorry, mine was already broke along the score line. Yeah, so now I want to put this in the. I got this. Now I'm putting these. Yeah, right? but we're going to break. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. So you have score lines. Yeah, mine was already. So there's just, yeah. I'm just going to wait. Yeah, but, oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can make your steeper. Make your steeper. I moved to this picture yeah. because they started getting this. Right. Can I move then, on to the... Yeah, because you might want to... Well, she asked us not to touch this right. because it went off suddenly. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. It's not All right, so let me look at yours. Because some of them, if it wasn't scored quite enough. Yeah, this was the one that we don't have a utility knife up here. Yeah, usually we use a utility knife. Yeah, so and then I just use the side of the scissors also. You passed. Great. Now I want to show you something else here is when you get home, notice these triangles here. You're going to go around with a pair of scissors when you get home and you're going to cut off all these sharp triangles so you don't scratch yourself. So that's what I'm doing here, going around and cutting off all the sharp corners so everything's rounded off. Good. I still got seven more minutes. <laughs> so in seven minutes, I want to show you what else with corrugated plastic because you can do a lot of really cool things with the corrugated plastic. So this is a scissors platform. And these scissors, I decided to take uh, recycled election signs. You have Carly Fiorini's old election signs from uh, 2016, I believe. Um, and then you can also spray paint this uh, black. But just showing you, so here we've got Caitlin. So that's made out of corrugated plastic. And let's see, so Caitlin will be, um, not Caitlin, the, the scissors. We went and brought, um, Teresa, I need your, your help here. So we have, I'm going to have her switch back over to camera mode. We've got uh, about 15 of these sets in the back of the room. So you can see Stacy on the way out, if any of you feel like you could really benefit from one of these. But just want to show you, this is called dual lock. And dual lock is a stopper. And you can see how I can shake this, it's not coming out. But to remove the scissors, and the scissors do come with a cover on them, but notice I come up, I bring up the blade here, and then all I have to do is rotate 90 degrees and it slides out. And then to put it back in, I slide in, rotate 90 degrees, and I slide it out until it pops right down in there into the groove. So it's pretty simple, easy to make. And then I can show you some other people using uh, the scissors. Ah. 
Yes, so I put the non-slip rubber material on the back. Now some parents also have it on um, the, the, the uh, carpet and I'll put the asphalt tape that grips onto the carpet too. So yeah, so that gives you an idea on the scissor platforms. And if we happen to run out and you really want one and Stacy doesn't have any left, where is Stacy? Oh. Oh, so what I wanted to, what Stacy's coming around, and I'm just gonna show that. I'm gonna have Teresa go back to camera mode. So when we fold it over, see how this pops up a little bit? What Stacy's doing is she's taking this clever cutter tool and she's sliding it in between in this groove. And so we're just sliding it straight through. And it's just to release these two pieces. That's what we're just doing with the clever cutter. So we've got some clever cutters in the back of the room for people who need to slit theirs. If Stacy didn't get to all of you, and we can help you with that as well. Oh, good, we got four minutes. <laughs> so in four minutes, I'm gonna show you this other really cool thing. Again, this is recycled election signs from Carly Fiorini's campaign. She dropped out of the race really early, so we got a semi-tractor trailer load of this stuff. <laughs> So corrugated plastic has these partitions. And so we just cut in between a partition. This will work for forks, spoons. So we just slide those pieces in there like that. So we can get up to eight. We've also got up to 16 when we do a double decker on it. So we look at how many forkfuls do you put in your mouth? So you can put the food on there. Then what we do is, here we've got our quick grip clamp. And with the quick grip clamp, I wrapped around this twist tie material. So we have this on top. And then we've got this material that's called Remo 2. It's a silicone, double-sided, tacky, removable adhesive. So now this goes on and it twirls like this. So I'm gonna show you how, as far as eating. So, so she can use So this was made, oh, and we have about 10 of these kits left. So if anybody needs one of these kits. And as you grow, you just have to cut a bigger piece of pipe, right? Because all depends upon the table height. And you can get half inch PVC pipe right at any um, hardware store in the plumbing department. And, ah. So this was my original design using two upside down plates for sushi, because he really, I called it the Sushi Susan. We could all use a Sushi Susan, huh? So, and then the problem was, was Tony said, geez, I gotta take these two plates with me to a restaurant, then I have to put it all together. Whereas having something that collapses down and this whole thing fitting in your pocket. Having a Sushi Susan that fits in your pocket. Oh, you got the camera? Yep, I got the camera. Okay. There. So pretty simple. Did we do it? We did it, it's 2.45. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so come on back at three. Yeah, I know. Yes. So do you want to grab the books? Yes. 
they're in the back. In the back. Yeah. So the, the book, it's a fundraising for the iPad, $50, and it includes all the um, 115 videos, option videos. Oh, that's funny. Did you know you were in the video? I was like, I had no idea. <laughs> No, nope, we're doing something different with industrial twist ties. Yeah. Um, yeah, cash or check. Yeah. Actually, I'll show you. Just give me one second. So it, I, we, it wouldn't be this, but it's the same idea. It's a key joint from an industrial twist side this thing, and it wraps around your hand. So if you have the ability to bring something to your lift your arms at all, now can you prop your arms up at all? Okay, so I don't know if this would be useful to you or not, but this is what we're doing. So it brings things closer, and like it does it in an angle. Or if you want to use we can make one of these for you if you need to. Do you use an iPad at all? Or a phone or touch screen? Okay. Are you able to use a touch screen? Like, is it difficult? With your nose. That's really cool. So this actually, if you, let's see, where is something? Let me grab my phone. Now we're going to try something. Hey, for those of you who are in the room, I'm so sorry. If you have not picked up your conference t-shirt, please go to the coat check area and pick it up. If you don't pick it up by 4 p.m., we're going to start giving them away to people who have signed up on our wish list to get one. So if you haven't gotten your conference t-shirts yet, please pick them up by 4 p.m. today. Thank you. And if you're holding it, yeah. So this, as long as you can somehow get your which arm can you use most of? This is really weird for you. I'm not the creative one. I'm a problem solver, but I'm not the one who makes all these things. Yes. But that, that's, we're not doing styluses in the next session. Probably we can do that. I 
Not at all. Do you want me to take it off? Okay. these star They're so hard to put on. So, um, each of these materials actually are not that hard to find. Um, so it's an industrial twist tie, that's foamy thin, uh, and then it has a T-joint, which is PVC pipe, it connects two pieces, of, well three pieces of PVC pipe, you can get that at a hardware store, and then um, Instamorph, that, you remember that stuff that she was showing, the beads, um, so Instamorph is put into the third part of the T-joint, the, the long, well not long, but the long. The base of the people, I guess. And then the stylus are like 25 cents. So you can buy them really cheaply anywhere. But if, if nobody cleans, we might want to just give that to you if you want. Maybe not yet, because we have to show it. Yeah, right. But um, it's very easy to make. And we can even make one for you too. We have a We're not going to do that. We have 100 of them made up, and like, maybe we'll have 100 people, but I doubt it. Um, at four? Well, I will hold on to. I'm going to take one as soon as you set up. Set it back here and then we'll work on that. So, I, I don't know how many cells. The thing that we're making is a feeding solution. So it's like a fork, uh, not fork, spoon, spoon, like that. But this one, I will hold on to this for you. I will not let anybody take it.
All right. All right. It's showtime. So it's uh, three o'clock. And just want to show you a few more. So we have Teresa back there. So just want to show some other uh, hands-free kinds of solutions. So we left off with uh, showing Tony. Well, then Tony said, yeah, but if I want to drink liquids, how do you drink liquids? So I came up with this solution. So if you look at this, uh, what you'll see is, I'll say, can anybody figure out what this is? If we turn this upside down, look at this. This is now the Sippy Susan. So here she is, she's sipping. And then, um, where is she? This one. It's pretty funny. So look at how many you can grab at one and get in her mouth, right? <laughs> All 
right. So then for sandwiches, this is what I came up with. Uh-oh. Wi-Fi must be down. Oh, here we go. So then we thought, geez, we could put, you know, um, a cup there. We could uh, put the, hey. <laughs> the virtual personal care system. So you already know the sandwich, right? Yep. So we've got that. That's pretty simple. That slides in there. Mm -hmm. But that's not all because you can also take the sandwich and put it off here and put a little tree on it. So then you can drop off and have it in the same time. But then you can go back to the old vision exercises and you want to do it on this particular tree. So that's my personal care of the system. So, so this lock line material, that's what's really kind of cool because you can position wherever that person um, needs it to be positioned. And then using the little ring of the one wrap, which is put on one side and loop on the other. So this is the, the juice container. And then here he is with uh, eating toast. And so we've got bacon, what's this? through a whole bunch of these others. Okay, so here is the top ladies and gentlemen, and then putting the cracker. And that's not kind of cool because there's low tension, so it can slide back and forth. All right. Next, I want to talk about cell phones. So at this particular conference, we had, you know, how do you hold a cell phone and, you know, an iPad. And so looking at the clamp and being able to mount this onto a table and position that, that position. Uh, here's seeing the dual occupant. This is the windshield of your car, something pretty simple. Uh, here is how we can mount it. We've got our handyman up here. So I found that at Home Depot, there's these new joints that they sell that are adjustable. And um, put your clamp again, like if you're in bed. And here, one way I have it going to this way, but I also found that I can turn it and it grips on to a uh, very easily. So, seeing an iPad, an iPad in bed. And then again, this is just Instamorph on a piece of PVC pipe and a quicker plan. Then, 
We had a uh, gentleman named Scott. Well, Scott's here, but so with Scott, he wanted a way to quickly mount his cell phone. So here we have Lockline. But we find we're always on the future with two mounting supports, two bases of supports. And that's just what cool. Lockline is everybody different, so being able to position it where we need it. And he just did this. So you can do the text. Then we got rid of the rubber band because we use this material, which is called a lot of rubber tape. And it's a bee waxy kind of material. And so you put it down and push your object into it, and that wax really grips a hole and holds your object in place. And so that's what's holding it in the bone, so it can slide off. And then we need the rubber. Rub. Yes. It's called Lock with Rubber for Tape. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah, so you find it at Walmart, Target, um, Home Depot, Lowe's. And things like you've got to stabilize. Like, let's say you've got a piece of paper. So I'm going to put that in. You don't want the paper to slide around. And by the way, this handout is available in the back of the room. Uh, it's got 30 some projects there. It's out of place. And guess what? It comes off your paper, too. So it doesn't ruin your surface. It doesn't ruin your paper. It's just this nice, wax uh, material. Is it like that you put underneath a rug? Yes, it is. Yep, that's why they call it lock with the rubber tape. Design lock, lift. Rub, yeah, gripper, tape. All right. The next group that we're going to talk about is um, stylus. And so I came up with this way with taking a paper clip, and a lot of people are very interested in different styluses. So we're going to take a look at it. Here's the sky. Then um, I made one for, well, let me show you how I make it, and I'll show you how it, the, the other kids use it again. So these are 30 cent um, little styluses. They're very inexpensive. They're designed for your cell phone to use with your cell phone when you've got the gloves and stuff on. So see what I did with the paper clip? Put the paper clip on one end. There's three in four. See how in more stretches do? Which is cool. So you have to get something metal, touching metal, to be able to make that circuit for a conductive stylus. So then I'm wrapping it around. So I stretch, wrap around. Now this is a half inch C PVC pipe T joint. Because sometimes the one that is hollow, so it will fit over the industrial size that you have. But you can do a lot of other cool things, or I can put a piece of Velcro in there too. So I'm squeezing it. So I'm thinning it out so that your hand comes pretty close to touching the wire to be able to complete the circuit. And that wire is a thicker wire than the, the uh, paper clips. So here's an example of screwing them off. And I, it wasn't working the way I wanted it. So what do I do? Throw it back in hot water again. Let it heat up some more, pull it out, reshape it. And in about five minutes, it cools off. 
And then everybody's hands are different. That's what I like. If you shape it, you figure out what angle, what position that they're holding in. So I'm dipping it back in hot water. And I want to make sure that it bonds to my PVC pipe, so it needs to be hot. The other thing I noticed was I don't want it going straight out. I really want it to go sideways. So look at what I just did. I just turned it. So now I'm going to do it this way. So it doesn't have to do. So then let me show you yesterday. So I made it, this little boy came up and looked at In that position, he's now able to draw with the style of this first time much more Because his fingers are looking at the back of the side of the paper and the top side of the paper. Other things that we did was the industrial press tie that we don't have inside of that press tie is a very thick piece of steel wire. And because it's thick, when we put it on top of somebody's head and the average silence, you have to pull that way. So it's just Velcro on top. So that's another option with um, the industrial press tie. Another thing that you can do with these industrial press ties is um, it's like a hundred and one things you can do with that in this time. So, a place and you can put skinnies in and out, so that's kind of cool. Oh, I thought that was too much. Too much. <laughs> All right. Wanted to show you um, so Jess wanted um, she was using her cell phone for taking pictures, so she wanted to use a heavy camera. So at first we were looking at how we're going to put this around her neck, right? And then how could she use both her cell phone and her camera? And she can swap it out. She put her cell phone in her pocket. And then she's able to just slide it right out. And slide it in out. That again is just corner guard. So one minute she's taking pictures with her cell phone, the next minute she's taking pictures with her heavy camera. So that's doing do a lot. Then we discovered, you know what? We don't even need that other strap. We'll just use the strap on her camera to counteract the weight. Because before, the camera was really heavy and it was dropping forward. So that's the kind of stuff for her. And then we use one wrap on the back around the X to make it tighter for her strap. And that seems to solve the problem. Then, um, at lunch time, this guy came up and looking at these scooters, how do you make a bottle holder or a water bottle holder or cup? Again, you just think, think about the plus time. You have one piece of one wrap going one direction, the other piece of one wrap going the opposite direction, and they're interlinked in the middle. So you can use it for a cell phone, you can use it for tapered beverage containers or water bottles. Yep, that's this stuff. Two inch black and wrap. And so now it's something very easy that uses multiple things, goes right on the wheels of his uh, scooter. So I was looking at um, eating solutions with industrial twist time. So a couple of years ago, I was creating this particular solution. 
And I do kind of wrap around um, toothbrushes. So then we were like, wow, for so like drawing and writing too, we could position it that way. Then I came up with um, something simple. I thought, hey, what if I take a tea joint? And some spoons. So yesterday, this little girl came up, and it was awesome. She was bringing the spoon up. We're like, oh, I can put a popsicle in there, um, put a toothbrush in there, looking at the sort of things that for the hold it. And one of the things I discovered was that rather than the previous video, uh, what I'm going to show you here with the camera is. So I've got my teacher here, right? And these are wires that I screwed over the wire. Because uh, when I was finding these in the store, they were 32 inches, and I only needed 17 inch. But notice how I'm coming across that and going this way. And we also want to set it up a little bit to give a little bit more support. So then that comes up. And then I'm going to have to please the help down here. I didn't need to pull it off yet. All right? So then wrap it around this way. So now, like if that's been up, then the hand just rests in there. So I don't have to worry about having any strength. I can just relax. So I just low tone, right? And then a fork just sliding in there. So another simple and everybody is different. So think about taking your industrial twist tie and bending it in different positions. Um, here's something else. This is a uh, picnic table clamp. Uh, the tablecloth, you know, on a windy day, and you know, windy day, and you're going to fly. They're like 25 to 25 to one of those spring clamps that go back to the clock. You can take a rubber band, you can put the rubber band, band over your cane or crutches, and then put the picnic table clamp, clamp, clamp on there. Uh, that'll work. Okay, okay. So I want you to know you have to Because at school, people were tripping over the cane and structures. So that was something. I also look at that. That sounds like thunderstorms, isn't it? Cool. The like angels are rolling. That's what my mother would say. <laughs> um, I found that clothespins fit inside of the uh, T joints, and that with this storm, I could create a little jig so that it would open up what, uh, a fork in there. And I also discovered. Others, Others that fit them 
side of the T-joint. So here I've got the paintbrush. Here's my indoor. And so the way this works is this is why I fold it with my hand, right? And then, so if I keep hang on to the paintbrush, this folds it right into the hole right here, and the indoor holds on to the paintbrush. And so these paintbrushes are only 25 cents. They're pretty inexpensive. So that's another option. Oh, so this band, Teresa, Pull it off there. All right. So this is, I call it my universal cuff. So it's pretty easy. I'm going to show you how we make it. All right. So All right. So we have our And here's our end floor. See, so I've got a little space, space in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread a piece of one where I'm going to down in the center. Right? Then, and I just, I have to do, uh, you get these earrings at Joint Fabrics, and then again, this is one wrap. So no sewing or ironing required. There, that's how we put our ring on there, nice and tight. Now, what I'm going to do here, I lay this across, like that. There we go, that's how this attaches to my universal cloth. Then over on this end is some more one wrap. So it's only applied at 10%. Now what? I'm gonna come over here into the D-ring, to slide this D-ring through, and then it's gonna fold back against itself all the way around to the pocket. And you can make it as tight as you want, because again, everybody's hand grip is different. So it's just a very simple way to Hold something in somebody's palm, I can make it tighter. So it fold back against itself. So again, very simple to do about five minutes. Thanks. All right, so you have your muscle to the side. Just wanted to show you, um, let's see, I'm going to go back out to albums, videos, and so Teresa and I, and we were working one day in the lab, and we came up with other ways of mounting and holding things. And, oh, I know, I was going to do the other, other launches. But with the industrial twist tie, if we put the industrial twist tie over the top of, oh, somebody had one of the digit centers, one of the digits in here. So again, we're using the core to get the glasses. The way this is mounted to stabilize and just creating a track that they slide into and mounting things on the pinches, uh, or um, what do you call those sockets that go on the back of your phone and all the things you do with pop sockets. So, those of you who were here yesterday, I wanted to show you. So, to make this, just to show you, what we do is we score it at two inches, then score it in the middle. And then I'm putting double-sided tape on both sides, two inches apart. Then I take the backing off on both sides. And then I cut it down the middle. That's a claw claw. So I'm looking at, we made a little track so that the seeds grow into. 
So I just trace it and then I cut it with my color flow. And then for the utility knife, I score going across a little like this, make a little score line there, and a score line in there. it out of based upon what is the typical sign that you get. It's a 24 inch by 18. So if you know you have 24 inch, half of 24 is 12. And if you do two and two, then you've got a platform. So it's all made out of just one election sign. And then to keep it from sliding out of it, you know, the backwards. So what And I just needed something to put pressure on my sisters. All right. It's my handy. So say you can position and you have a variety of different objects. So that's the BCO. And back to industrial ties. So other so things that I've done with the industrial two sides is I was able to smell this onto a clamp, clamp, so very little force to pull, and holding this way, and it lets go, it swings back in the lumber. So here's another way of putting the side of this, and these chewy tubies. Um, this guy can be able to hold to be able to draw, and now the apple pencils require very little effort, and then you don't have to worry about resting your hand and completely onto the glass. Once you pair it with the pencil, it's then able to do the drawing. So that's where the industrial two side is wrapped around. All of these are screaming off of the road, but that kind of gives you an idea on whole pot of buildings. And then, because his elbow is always in, like if, you, if somebody's elbow is always in the same position, you run a risk of the pressure of the pulse. And using the um paper on top of uh, gel material, just to provide some padding. Uh, for bowls, to keep bowls from rotating and, and tipping over in the industrial two side. Here's an industrial two side, so that and let's say the door closes and you don't have to pull it and unlock it. Just look at a round on both sides of the doorknob. You can do with your industrial two side. Here is if somebody's a little talker and you can't hear what they're saying, you can put a microphone on it real close to their mouth and put this around your neck for amplification. Um, here you're raising a plate up, and then with the spoon. Um, this is on the bottom, so this is more out of our kind of grabbing the whole bottom and just wrapping the industrial tie around that way. Um, put the flashlight on there, um, holding your eyeglasses if you're trying to put a screw back into them. Um, this is around the pen, and then the hand slides in, and now you can wide marker across the paper. So you can bend these in so many different ways. 
Um, here's for holding an iPhone and suspended fence that you can use fence um, on the car. Here is if you have to keep dropping down, uh, you just bend it this way, it might have something to rest your chin into. Or those of you who snore on a plane, uh, keep your mouth closed, right? When you're traveling on a plane. Um, here, so like if the student raising her hand, uh, the teacher would never know if she wanted to say something, right? And so I thought, no, oh, you can take an industrial twist. I wrap it around those um, flash lights and then um, wrap it around the back of the wheelchair. And the yellow switch here, she would hit the yellow switch, and then this flashlight would turn on. So here's what it looks like on the back of the wheelchair. And then speaker wire, which is a battery charger. So whenever the teacher would see the flashlight lit, it would mean that that student has an answer to a particular question. So that was something simple. Here is the industrial twist that I'm coming to show. So here we've got a little track that the iPad just drops into and it grips onto that industrial twist tie. And this is just three quarter inch PVC pipe. And this is a tray table turned upside down, slid underneath the bed. And this is what it looks like on the back side. Something really low cost, really fast to make to support an iPad over the bed. Um, you can also put paintbrush inside the floor screen as well, if you want to. So just showing that one, that one, that one. Close up. Um, I want to show a different one here. This is what I want to show. Oh, wait, because people were asking about toothbrushes. Of wrapping it around the toothbrush, but also attaching it to the universal cuff. The other thing is you can grab the toothbrush and rotate it inside of the industrial twist head. Because sometimes you're rushing down, sometimes you're rushing side, sometimes you're rushing up. So you have to have it so that that toothbrush can easily rotate around. This, this is really cool. So all bicycle helmets have vents in them. And so if you take the industrial twist size and you stick it through the vents and you put your cell phone on top and you, you tighten it down, if you use space, the baseline is real time to make a presentation and the crown of your head is the most stable for doing so. People know GoPros, right? Well, GoPro is just recording. It's not transmitting live to somebody else. So we have a lot of people that we work with that are very medically fragile and cannot be in school or let's say in a hospital environment. Here, we have volunteers on the other end who wear that helmet with FaceTime, and we have a project called What Do You Want to Do Today? So the person can be in the hospital with their iPhone or their iPhone and can say, no, you go to the bathroom or paddle over to the island, or uh, go on a bicycle ride, or make cupcakes. So whoever has a cell phone on their head has a cell phone on their head, has whatever the person in the hospital or at home tells them to do. So I know it looks kind of funny, but it works. I showed you that one. So here is the amplification. This is called a pocket talker. And then I have a, a seat that plugs into the pocket water, and then the microphone up here. And so, way to amplify for people that you can't hear very well, you have to put your ear in your mouth, so it makes it, makes it much easier. Uh, this is a show wrapping around a carpet. Would you mind passing that picture with the hat and the industrial? This one? Yeah. All right. So, I wrap that around the industrial two side and then on top of the baseball cap, I can belt it down. And then, the side of this here, I can take Tommy tape, which is a soft here silicone tape. It's all like an emergency repair tape. You stretch and seal or stretch and wrap. And then, because the wire inside of the two side is very thick and big, and the top of your head, it conducts the electricity or the completes the circuit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we have two minutes left. 
And my goal, the whole thing about having the option to decide is you may come up with things that I never even thought about, but having something between a T-joint to take home with you, an industrial twist side to take home with you, and just be creative. Think about all the things you can then in shape and position, but I hope I gave you a bunch of different ideas. Oh, and the other thing is make sure that um, you check out the handout that has access to 30 how-to projects. And it'll also show you the industrial two side product as well. So that's on the back. Yes. I got five minutes? Wow, awesome. It says I only have one. Take three. All right. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. And the other thing that's on the back counter is um, the handout on making the um, pocket IP and making the IP stand. That was earlier today, so people don't remember. It'll take you right through how to make score lines. It'll show that video on that. Any questions? Yes. 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 Good. Good. I'm curious Here you go. Your daughter when you're driving. Yeah? When we're when we're driving, I find that. Um, so my daughter is able to bring her hand to her mouth, but right. uses shoulder and like uses some other movement.